Welcome to South Asia. This is Jared D, your facilitator at South Asia Maps or India Maps. We try to bring the geographical, historical anecdotes and knowledge to our audience at a very deeper <coughs> level in the form of icons, images and maps. Today we are uh, continuing our wanderings in Dakkan region, south of Vindhya Mountains, south of Satpura Mountains, <coughs> south of Burhanpur Pass. The topic of today is the Dakkan Islamic imperialism sends seeds, gives to British imperialism certain territories. So, as a part of Indian history, we are talking about seeded districts. <coughs> yes, excuse me. Seeded districts or seeded districts are also sometimes called Royal Sima districts. These are the seeded districts or Royal Sima districts. We will be talking briefly about the seeded districts. <coughs> excuse me. In this presentation, you will get a very good understanding after listening to my presentation. The onset, the dawn or establishment of Islamic imperialism in Deccan. This is the Deccan region. And the replacement of Islamic imperialism with British imperialism after the collapse of Maratha Empire in India. The Royal Sima region are also called seeded districts of Andhra Pradesh. <coughs> Today's Sima Andhra Pradesh. The seeded districts survived nearly 150 years or so from 1800 to 1947. We'll know about the Nizam Asabja who gave the territory to Hyder Ali when he lost the war. Hyder Ali and Tipu, his successor, <coughs> again lost the war and gave to Nizam the territories back. This is the ceded territory. And Nizam, <coughs> after 10 years or so, gave that territory to East India Company or British. They are, this territory is called ceded districts territory, south of Tungabhadra River. That is, as a result of Third Anglo Mysore War. Third Anglo Mysore War that fought around about two to three years between the East India Company and Tripartite Alliance. The British, Nizam, and Maratha Pentarchy versus Tipu Sultan <coughs> resulted in the Treaty of Sri Lanka Patanam. And we'll see the battle. There is a spelling mistake here. Typo. Battle of Karda after year, three years. Then when Lord Wellesley came to India as a governor general of East India Company Bahadur in 1798 April, the frightened Nizam of Hyderabad requested the British protection that is he has signed subsidiary alliance with the British East India Company. And <coughs> he gave these territories to British. And after Carnatic Treaty with the Carnatic Nabab, Madras Presidency was established. And ceded districts became part of Madras Presidency. Ceded districts are Historically, the Ballari districts, Karnul district, Anantapur district, Kadapa district, and Chittur district. <coughs> These are called Royal Sima area of Andhra Pradesh. And this is the, uh, we can see the other interesting. Excuse me. This is uh, Deccan, the topographical map 
so that you will get a very good understanding rather than looking at the normal maps and we have Tungabhadra river here there is a Tungabhadra dam this is the Portuguese Catholic imperialism established in Goa <coughs> Uh, this is the Tungabhadra Dam, the historical capital of Rayas, resides on Tungabhadra River at Vijayanagaram, the ruined city of Hampi. Now you see the, the Krishna River joins Tungabhadra here, the Karnul will be here and somewhere and continues, cuts through Nalamala range and forms the Krishna mouth surrounding the Guntur district and Krishna district. This area south of Tungabhadra river on the Dakkan plateau adjoining the princely state of Mysore is called seeded districts. This is called a seeded district, mostly Carnatic region, that is a broad term for this Dakkan plateau upland region Balgat, the downstream, the down, or east of eastern Ghats, or Thurpu Kanamulu, a broken range of mountains uh, coming from Nilgiris and so on, is called Carnatic region or Carnatic Payangat or the low-lying region. Princely state of Tanjavur, this is the <coughs> Arkat Nawabi or Carnatic Nawabi and uh, who which British annexed in 1801. The Venat Kingdom or Travancore Kingdom and Cochin Kingdom here. <coughs> this is the, the easternmost boundary of the seeded districts and this is the French colony Iana. And we can look this more comfortably. The, it's the same. I took away the South Asia maps logo here. So Islamic imperialism in Bharat was established in 13, first quarter of 14th century, round about 1330s, when Tughlaq finally made his capital in Marathwada region, Devagiri, Aurangabad. Later when he went to Sindh to fight a rebellion, the Turkish governors of that area broke from his empire and established a new Islamic <coughs> imperialistic state called Bahamani Kingdom. At the same time, Hindu Vijayanagara Empire was established by Harihara Raya and Bukharaya. Both competed with each other and stably existed with some warfare for nearly two, two and a half <coughs> centuries. Uh, when uh, it they splintered the Bahamanis and Bijapur kingdom and Golconda kingdom and so on, when Aurangzeb the Mughals established their rule firmly <coughs> after Second Battle of Panipat in 1556, eventually they conquered this area in the Aurangzeb's time in 1680 and he annexed Bijapuri kingdom and Golconda kingdom. So this entire area came under his control and he appointed. Nizam as the <coughs> the Subeda of the, all the Deccan provinces. At the same time there existed the Wadayar kingdom, the half shoot of Vijayanagara empire. As the Vijayanagara empire collapsed after battle of Thalli Kota in 1565 or battle of Rakasgi Thangadgi. All the subordinate was souls of the Vijayanagara empire broke one among them was Mysore, Wadayar kingdom ruled from Sri Rangapatinam, <coughs> a small town in the island on the banks of Kaveri river here. And Mysore, northwest of it is a prominent city, so it's called Mysore kingdom also. Later it was usurped by a Muslim general of that kingdom called Hyder Ali. Hyder Ali is a Islamic sword arm, Saiful Islam, and he is a very energetic general, a very intelligent, unlettered man, and he waged a war with all the surrounding kingdoms, or the realms, domains. Karnatic Nawab and Malabars, Jamorin and Bednur Nayaks and Marathas and Nizam here. Nizam ruled from here. 
At that time, he expanded the Mysore Kingdom Lodge and it flew overflew the Tungabhadra River and Eastern Ghats, this area. So, entire seeded districts came to Mysorean Kingdom under Hyder Ali and his son Tipu Sultan. And Hyder Ali passed away in round about 1791 or 92 in Chittur region that itself in seeded districts and his son succeeded and at that time there was a third Anglo-Mysore war. Because the Mysore was very aggressive state, it was uh, riding and annexing the territories of the Marathas and territories of Nizam and territories of Karnatic Nawab, Muhammad Wallaza, who was the protectorate of British at uh, Madras and Chengalpad district was there, the Madras presidency, small Madras presidency at that time. All three combined called a tripartite alliance in 1792 and Venadu kingdom or Travancore kingdom of Dharma Raja <coughs> also joined it and Cochin kingdom and they defeated Tipu. And a treaty was made, Treaty of Sri Rangapatinam. That means all the three Ali's, they distributed the territory, nearly half of the territory, Tipu gave as indemnity when he lost the third Anglo-Mysore war to the Triple Alliance. And this part was given to Marathas, that is, and this part was given to Nizam. And British took <coughs> uh, Baramahal, here are called Salem district, they also took Dindigal, they also took Malabar. The seeded district that is south of Tungabhadra are given to Nizam, that's Bellari, Karnul, Anantapur, Kadapa, Chittu. Even though Karnul was ruled by Nawab later, parts of Karnul came, so broadly we can say Karnul also. That was around about 1793. And then war broke out between the Nizam and Marathas, Battle of Karda in the Balgat region. This is the Bhima River, somewhere here. This is the Ahmednagar is here. And uh, near Barsi, those areas, this called a town called Karda, <coughs> adjoining to Bhid district of Marathwada where the Nizam lost very severely Battle of Karda and he was totally shaken and when Wellesley came to India as a Governor General 1798 at, at that time Napoleon was in peak so subsidiary alliance was introduced and Nizam joined subsidiary alliance that means Nizam essentially gave up his sovereignty to British and British will position certain cantonment of troops in Nizam's territory, Hyderabad, Sikindrabad and any external enemies or internal subversions will be dealt by the British and Nizam has to pay them money. Because Nizam fell into arrears instead of money, he pay, gave the land, territory. He ceded these areas south of Tungabhadra river, that means today that constitute Bellari district excuse me, <coughs> Anantapur, Karnul district, Anantapur district, Kadapa district, Chittur district. This is the region historically ruled by the royals, the emperors of Vijayanagaram also called Rayas or royals. This entire area is Royal Sima. Their capitals, first capital Vijayanagaram is on the, this is the Tungabhadra river, on Hampi, Tungabhadra river. Second capital here, near Hindupur Penukonda, that means the fourth dynasty after Tallikota battle. And as the Bijapuri and uh, Golconda Nawabs increased the pressure against the last dynasty, he moved the capital to Chandragiri in Chittur district near Tirupati or Renigunta Pass, west side of eastern guards called Palikondas at that time. Then even he moved like a few kilometers south to Palar in the Tamil and Telugu speaking areas called Vellur. So this entire area is historically called Vellur 
and the neighboring areas ruled by the Nayaks, Nayaks of Gingi, Nayaks of Tanjavuru, Nayaks of Madurai. These are the seeded districts or Royal Sima area. So you can see <coughs> the seeded districts and Royal Sima area in more clear map. This is the political map round about 1809. You can see the Maratha territory here, be ruled by Peshwa, <coughs> and the Ma Bonsle Maharajas ruled from Bearer, and the Sindhyas and Holkars ruled here. Here, the Nawab, Nizam of Hyderabad, ruled here, the Nizam of Hyderabad's territories. Here, the seeded districts, you can see, seeded districts here. The Mysore princely state restored to the Wadayar Maharaja. The third, Krishna Deva Raja Vadayar. Immidi Krishna Raja Vadayar, the third one. And his Mysore kingdom here, the sea is Tungabhadra River and seeded district. This is the eastern ghat. The Muhammad Vallaja and his successor Umdatulumara ruled from Velur Arkat, Arkat near Velur, the Karnatic kingdom or Arkat kingdom, where in 1801. Its successor signed a treaty and giving the kingdom to British and he became a pensioner of the <coughs> East India Company. That is about the seeded districts south of Tungabhadra River. <coughs> when we say about the seeded districts, the thing we have to keep in mind is seeded districts are former historical, the remnants of the Vijayanagara Emperor's Royal Sima, south and east of Tungabhadra and Krishna, after Tungabhadra joins Krishna and western side of eastern Ghat mountains up to the <coughs> Balgat region. Generally the Payangat region doesn't come under seeded districts even though their capital resided in Vellur because of its predominantly a Tamil speaking territory. So, that's what, if you look at in the Google map and we can see here very clearly, I here high, highlighted the just only Anantapur district of Royal Sima so that you can have a context is the Ballari North. This is the Tungabhadra River. You can see the Tungabhadra Dam here near Hospeta that is west side of Hampi, Tungabhadra Dam and Tungabhadra River. Krishna river joins, this is the Karnula after that, it pierces the Nalamala range where the famous Sri Shailam shrine of Lord Shiva resides and cuts through the eastern guards and separates the Krishna district and the west and, sorry, Guntur and the west Krishna east. This is the eastern guards where Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan conquered all these areas from Naiza. And later Nizam got it from the British and after Treaty of Subsidiary Alliance, Nizam gave them back to British again, which he gained in the war. So the Ayantapur district, Ballari district, Karnul district, Kadapa district here and you can see the Chittur district here and that is the, uh, the Royal Sima. So, <coughs> Essentially, we looked at uh, the Islamic imperialism established in Deccan by Tughlaqs and he broke away Bahamanis and continued for a couple of decades and his successor states Bijapur and Golconda important. Their annexation by the Mughals from the north and <coughs> Marathas became very prominent and after the defeat at Panipat battle 3, 1761 January and the British filled the volume and British fought a series of war and controlled this territory. The Mughal appointee, Aurangajeb's appointee Nizam controlled all these territories nominally and Arkat Nawab or Karnatic Nawab was under his control who after the Karnatic wars 1 and 3 in middle of 1750s gone under the protection of East India Company Madras Presidency, small area in the Madras Presidency. <coughs> and Hyder Ali who rose and usurped the Wadayar Kingdom 
finally conquered a lot of territories among which ceded districts are very important in the third anglo maitur war he and his son got defeated and treaty of sri rangapatnam in 1793 gave lot of ter- he lost lot of territories to the neighbors and nizam got the ceded districts and british got uh, salem that is baramahal and dindigal and malabar and so on and <coughs> British eventually got few years later in 1801 the uh, Carnatic Treaty and the entire Nawab's territory, to which they added the ceded districts and made enlarge the Madras Presidency. So the ceded districts are ceded by Nizam to the British East India Company Bahadur, and that's why they are called ceded districts. because they were historically parts of uh, royals of vijayanagara empire they are also called royal sima districts in today's andhra pradesh sima andhra sima means royal sima that is this region and andhra means rest of the this this region coastal region andhra region sima region sima andhra are truncated andhra pradesh after telangana districts were bifurcated which are north of krishna and tungabhadra river <coughs> yes. that is in brief about the historic ceded districts of andhra pradesh dakkan south and east of tungabhadra river in the telugu speaking territory which were ceded to british by the nizam of hyderabad this is ever facilitator at uh, south india maps or greater india maps or india maps we bring a quality uh, knowledge to our audience in the form of icons images maps about indian history culture and heritage we continue to appreciate i appreciate your feedback please do the subscriptions and put the comments and any compliments and criticisms and suggestions we can make this educational channel more entertaining and informative and very fascinating that will give you the articulation of the a fascinating ancient civilization of sanatan dharma south of karakoram north of kanyakumari west of kamarupa in brahmaputra valley east of kacha and kalat in beluchistan khyber pass on the safed ko mountains this is your jerdi and see you later